All right, well, I was coming back from Tatchby, dropped my grandson off up there and thought I'd come on the back way, saw a couple of trains parked out here, figured they were waiting for a westbound to go by. The eastbounds are the ones parked, and so I came up here to Bina. See those signals up there? That is the uh, control point at Bina. And sure enough, comes this eastbound. This used to just be called Private Crossing. Now it is called Simcal Chemical Private Crossing. It may have, it may have been that when I was still working, but I never worked down in this area much while I was detached be maintainer. Sorry for the lighting, it's late in the afternoon, early evening actually, it's about 6.30 in the evening. I don't know if they're gonna, I guess I'll cut this guy, he just turned his lights on, so I guess they're gonna cut him loose when this guy gets by. Right there where that uh, tank is, there used to be a big fertilizer plant there. I don't know if that was SimCal or what that was, but they uh, hauled gypsum in there, and they treated whatever, it was, it had a laboratory, it was pretty elaborate, kills, and, and they would uh, take trucks in there, there was a railroad spur that served it, and uh, it seemed to me that it closed in the early or mid 80s, I can't remember, but uh, the buildings, uh, the structures were there for quite a while until, I don't know, 10 years ago or so, they finally tore them out. The ranchers used the big uh, storage building for their hay. I got a couple of pictures of it, I'll drop them in here. Catch this guy taking off. All right, well, this guy just got a green signal. So he should be underway shortly. This, uh, you see that on the tank, it says Bina Corrals. They're uh, usually cattle out here. I don't know if they're still doing that. Well, yeah, sure they are. There's some cattle over there. But they'll have a bunch of cattle out there and they would bring in uh, just carrots to feed them. And between the, in the summertime, between the rotten carrots and the cow poop and pee, oh, it'd get to stinking out here. Said I, when I was on the Tashby job uh, at the end of my career, I didn't, uh, I never did work out here. I don't know if it's still like that or not. Also, I've always wondered what that concrete structure there is, or was. I've uh, had people say that there was a, oh, he's on the move. I've heard people say that there was a slaughterhouse out here. I've heard people say there wasn't. If you know, for sure, drop in the comments below. I heard him toot his horn. He's Ready to go.
signal go red there. That's a good thing. This one didn't look very long, it was stretched out up Sand Cut Hill. But sometimes perspectives are a little off, especially with me. But a lot of people, a lot of people ask me how many cars are average trains and what are their average lengths and weights. I don't know that there's an average to be honest with you. I don't count cars. I'm, I don't know. I've never done that. Trains are long or they're not. And uh, there we go. Up here on the uh, Tehachapi where they're going so slowly. Sometimes they appear to be a lot longer than they really are because it just takes them a long time to go by. Get up the valley where they're doing 60 miles an hour and they certainly don't appear to be so long. All right, well, I know there was one sitting at Sand Cut behind this guy. So, uh, see if they clear him through. We'll get him too. All right, see he has a green signal. And I did move up to the control point. See the signal go red there. All this shooting this way because the sun is, there was cloud cover a while ago. That last uh, couple of trains I shot that kind of had the sun diffused a little bit, but that broke up and now it's just bright over there. But, even with that, <laughs> I am going to turn around. Oh, that kind of looks cool, actually. I really don't like having my back to trains. Not a good idea. Ooh, shiny new cars. It is nice to have longer days. But it's at seven o'clock right now in the evening and uh, still plenty of sun. If I want to shoot videos late or if I want to play golf with a later tea time or go ride the Harley, whatever, I can do it longer now. And I like that. I don't, 
I don't like the winter time. The stupid time changes and it gets dark at 4.30. It's ridiculous. But hey, that's just my opinion. Here are the URLs to my PayPal and to my Patreon. If you could support the channel that way, I'd sure appreciate it. Uh, keep uh, shooting me the ideas, drop me comments below, shoot me an email at motorport59 at gmail.com. Like, share, subscribe, click on the bell if you want to be notified of future content, and we'll see you all later.